welcome to our calculus lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to try to show you how you can do a down counter. Okay? So it's like an alarm. So, once again, the board has two numbers you can expose at any time. At any time, there are two numbers there. And by convention, we keep our answer in the second row, often referred to as the result register. So in this case, where we're going to do a down counter, the board setup is such that you have minus one up here and the limit, the alarm here. Then you can start counting down. So minus one means that we have nine. We have minus nine, nine, minus one here, nine. And also nine. So for the sake of our discussion, we have nines all throughout. So we have minus one here. So if we, for instance, said that blow the alarm starting from a number like like four, which is long enough for us to go through this, then you've set up the board that when the countdown reaches zero, then we should stop what we are doing. Okay, so you have 9999 up there, that's minus 1. So every time I do an addition, this number will go down by 1. So this is a down counter. And see how it works. Simply do an addition. So I have to collect the current of 9 stones. So I'm doing the addition digit by digit. So I collect 9 stones. Then I go 10, and then these are part of the answer. So, of course, when I add, the, I take a copy of the 9, and I add here, I will still get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay? So, I've gone down by 1. So, the next time I do another addition, it will be the same effect. I'll take my 9, and when I add it, it becomes this, and this is part of the answer. So notice that already it's gone down. And then when I collect all the, I take copy of all this 9 and add here, I get a 0 and I leave one. I get a zero and I leave one I all the way. So this now is three. I can come again and do the same thing. And if I do it, I make a copy of nine here. And I collect all this 10. So this is part of the answer. And I leave one stone. If I come again, it is the same scenario, okay? And I'll end up with all the zeros there. So, if I come again, I'll take my nine stones. This is five and three, eight. And I'll have that here. And I take this and I add, so this is part of the answer. And if I, I'll leave a stone. And once I leave a stone, I'll come again and collect this to be zero, 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 zero. Notice that the next time I do this, then it changes from non-zero to zero. So at that point, I could, for instance, sound an alarm if the purpose was for an alarm. So let's do the last one. So I take my nine stones, I add to it, it becomes 10. I drop one stone, and so is zero, and so is zero. Okay? And if I continue, because of the one here, I'll get zero, zero, zero. So at this point, our answer says we have counted down to zero. And that's a good example of how you can use OWARI to create an alarm.